Hey guys, it's Sirius313 and welcome to my first installation tutorial series on LSPDFR. If you are having any problems installing or getting LSPDFR to run, you are in the right place. I'm going to teach you how to get it going. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is get prepared for your install. Uh, the first way we do that is we locate the game folder. So what you're going to want to do is go to your local C drive. You're going to want to find programs x86. Go to Steam and look for Steam apps. And then common. Common is the folder where you'll see all of your Steam games. I have multiple copies of GTA. For this reason, I made a tutorial. The first thing I recommend to anybody who's trying to mod their GTA game to do LSPDFR is make a copy of the game. So just right click it, hit copy, right click down here, hit paste. It'll make you a copy. It takes about 30 minutes. I already have mine, so I'm not going to do that. When you open it, you'll see the game here in its raw form. No mods, no anything. It's just a copy of the regular game. And so while well, that's copying, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and open up your internet. Uh, if you look in YouTube, I left all the links that you need for the programs that are the base mods to get this game going. First and foremost, we get LSPDFR, the actual mod. You just come down here, click on the link that I provided for you. Go to download. You'll open it. Uh, wait for this window to come up. We'll agree. Uh, there's two ways that you can do this, whether you have a .zip uh, extractor or you have WinRAR for the .rar files. Uh, you can get either one of these. I tend to go toward the alternate, which uh, has the auto install function. So you'll just hit download. I already have it, so I'm just going to X out of that. Second, what you're going to want to do is rage hook. So click on rage. Go ahead and get that. Accept the cookies right here. It's going to open up. You're going to see uh downloads go ahead and click that and make sure you click rage 38 now i the link i provided should already have it right to this page so just click that there's only one of them let that download and then the next one we're going to do is script hook so when you script hook you're just going to go here you're going to start download don't worry about the sdk just the regular download and then with all those programs, you're going to need something to extract them. Like I said before, you can use WinRAR or you can use 7-Zip. I use 7-Zip uh, depending on what you want to use. I like 7-Zip. It's easy. It's free. Um, I clicked, I believe, the 64 because I have Windows 10. Anything below Windows 8, you're going to want to go 32-bit, I believe. Uh, just go ahead, click that, and let it download. You should be able to access all of these in your downloads folder. You'll be able to see them all come up. See if I can bring them up here. Oh, I actually moved them to my copies folder. You look over here. Now I have everything that I need right here to be able to get going with my install of LSPDFR. But before we do that, what we're going to check real quick is our folder. Because we want to make sure that we have our game actually ready to go. The main directory here. So I have it open. It's located. It's ready to go. Next thing I'm going to do is right click on the desktop and make a folder called install. The reason I do this is because I like to take my copies and I like to copy them over into install and extract them in the actual install folder so I don't get messed up and I don't get disorganized. Uh, if you do this, you'll save yourself a ton of time and probably a lot of a headache because most of the time that I help people out on these game installs, that's the one thing they have trouble with is they get mixed up when you get all these copies and all these files uh, just thrown into one to one folder. So we want to avoid that as much as we can. So with that said, uh, all there is left to do is find our Grand Theft Auto folder, make sure that we have it ready to go for our install. And I'll talk about one thing real quickly. <clears throat> this particular tutorial has to do with a uh, fresh install, which means that this is a brand new copy of GTA. It's never been modded in any way. Uh, you haven't tried LSPDFR on it before, because <clears throat> what can happen is files can get deleted, files stick around, old files stay. We just want to avoid all that. If you are using a GTA uh, game that has been modded before, go to my other video. It's going to be troubleshooting. 
You can skip right to that right now. For the rest of you, we have completed part one of this tutorial, and all that's left in part two is the actual install. So go ahead and skip forward, and I'll see you there.